Hello Scorpios, how are you? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I hope you guys are staying safe. Let's get on with your reading Scorpio. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. I do want to let you guys know I'm going to be uploading a video in regards to the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction that we're going to be experiencing on December the 21st, 2020. So you guys stay tuned for that if you're interested in seeing how this is going to affect your sign. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All righty. Your first card here, Scorpio, is the Devil card. Uh, you may be seeing your partner as a bit, uh, experiencing a bit of jealousy, a little bit of possessiveness here. Um, nine of Wands, feeling a bit uh, restless, feeling like uh, you've been putting a lot of effort or it's been very difficult dealing with this type of energy. Uh, the Devil card does represent um, toxic behaviors and that could be something that the partner may be experiencing. Uh, this could have a lot to do with um, with the astrological alignments that we're dealing with right now, uh, tapping into our subconscious, things that have been suppressed for a very long time. Uh, nonetheless, again, like I said, the nine of wands, uh, there's definitely some uh, feeling like you have exhausted either uh, your energy, your efforts, or just uh, very difficult uh, energy to be dealing with right now. And you also have here the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles could represent um, wanting to go to the past or thinking about the past. For some of you guys, this could be nostalgia that is being experienced. I know that around the holidays, this is something that oftentimes uh, humans, <laughs> um, you know, we have a tendency of kind of looking to the past um reliving the past etc just make sure not to stay in that energy scorpio um it could be toxic traits that your partner is like uh maybe you felt like you had overcame those obstacles in the past and all of a sudden they're coming back around uh what they're saying here is for some of you guys it could be that you're dealing with the partner that is um uh, unexplainably being a little bit overprotective, uh, a little bit jealous, um, a bit of insecurities uh, coming up here. Uh, and that's the energy that you may be dealing with for this month of December. Now your partner's cards here is the nine of swords, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiousness, worry, the page of cups uh, and the five of cups. Okay. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with some type of separation that uh, recently happened or may be unfolding in December. Um, and it could have to do, again, like I said, with feeling like you're no longer wanting to deal with this, tox this toxic energy. Uh, if you've been single, uh, this could be like uh, becoming aware of uh, attracting certain partners in your life that are very toxic and understanding why. And it's like, I'm no longer going to go, I'm not going to keep learning the same lesson over and over. It's like you've, I see you guys like self-aware. I see you guys taking responsibility over the people that you entertain or that you give your attention to. So I see you guys, uh, this could be your energy as well if you're single, uh, Scorpio. I see you guys being more methodical in the choosing of your partners. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, because with the Nine of Swords and Page of Cups, it's almost like you're drawn or you have a feeling like um, you're drawn or attracted to people that maybe are broken, that need healing, that need uh, some type of, with the Devil card, some type of validation. Um, and the Page of Cups is, again, like something that you can't help. Uh, they just pull you in. They just reel you, reel you in and, and you're just very attracted to that type of energy. But obviously with the Five of Cups being left, uh, you know, being left sad, being left um, really mourning a loss of a relationship or continuously keep going through a situation where there is like no elevation to relationships. It's almost like you start off amazing 
and then it just falls apart. So again, uh, this is for you uh, singles out there. It could be, like I said, that you're coming into your own, you're taking responsibility, and you're no longer entertaining this type of energy. I do see a person wanting to, wanting to come back around, wanting to reach out. This could be an ex-partner or a person from the past. Um, and again, it, it, they're definitely missing you. They're definitely thinking about you. But again, I feel that it's they haven't worked on themselves. So if there is like a coming back around, I don't feel that it's because they've changed. It's just because they have this need to know that you're still either taking them back or that they still have some type of control over you. Um, so again, I would highly, highly encourage you if there's if there's a person from the past that uh, comes back around, do not for one thing for once think that they've changed. I don't see that. I see that uh, it's just the, you know, again, it could be the nostalgia, the holidays that they're feeling lonely and they're wanting to reach out uh, with this page of cups here in the center. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, if you feel like, uh, if you're experiencing like the partner being a little bit more overprotective or experiencing like even jealousy, um, what they're telling you here is there are certain type of suppressed emotions that they may be dealing with, uh, and this could have a lot to do in connection to the past or what they've been through. Um, try to be patient with them. Try to not come from a judgmental place. Um, you know, try the best you can to, uh, I wouldn't say validate, but make them feel comfortable enough to open up to you. Um, and the way to do this is, again, just be reassuring is what they're saying. Okay. Okay, one more card for Scorpio. And one more card for their partner or person of their interest. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So for some of you guys, it could be that there was definitely some type of ending, some type of uh, separation or temporary separation here. Uh, while for others, this could just represent uh, feeling like it, you put a lot of effort in this connection or in this relationship and you're kind of uh, thinking or wondering, you know, should I continue putting like dealing with this? The nine of wands is like, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of going through it. I'm tired of putting the effort with the nine of pentacles, you're entertaining the idea of being single or you're entertaining the idea of, is it best to walk away? Um, if you are dealing with a partner where there was some type of ending or some type of separation, I do have here the five of cups uh, next to the moon card. So I feel that for this, uh, and this could have been something that if recently they popped up or they started communicating with you in this past uh, full moon, I feel that this coming full moon in that's going to happen in December, I feel that um, you're going to come to the understanding that they're still not consistent. My advice to you is don't entertain that. Um, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, what they're saying here is, again, the moon could represent the amplified energy of sadness or nostalgia in their life or what they've been through in the past. So again, try to approach it um, in a loving way more than anything. And your final card here is happy family. So I definitely do see for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that uh, your partner just may be dealing with uh, Pluto's energy. They may be dealing with um, a lot of things that are from the past. Again, we are going to be entering uh, the conjunction on the on the 21st. So again, it could just be things that have been suppressed for quite a while that are coming back up again for them to deal with it so that they can finally go into uh, the next cycle in their life, releasing that type of karmic energy. Uh, ha happy family is a representation of balance. Uh, four is you know, structure, it is balance, it is foundation. So again, I feel that this is just something temporary that you guys may be dealing with. However, for those of you guys that are single, um, keep your balance is what they're saying here. Um, as you can see here, the rainbow, and that's a representation of healing, but it's also a representation of 
uh, really vibrating to the highest of your frequency. And if you feel like this person is this person from the past or the person that you're still dealing with that you may no longer be in a relationship with, but there's still communication. If you feel like they're taking your happiness away or like they're not adding to your happiness, you shouldn't entertain that. Let go of that. Embrace the nine of pentacles. Embrace your singlehood. Take your power back. By doing this, you're also cementing um, stable ground to start building on something new, meaning a new beginning or a new relationship, a new partnership. So again, uh, don't allow or don't give up your power. And I know that's not something I usually have a tendency of telling Scorpios, uh, but they are definitely telling you here, if this is a toxic situation where there's a lot of ups and downs or there's breakups and come back and break up and then we come back, when do you get to the point of understanding that if it didn't happen the first or second time, it's not going to happen the third or fourth time. Like they're just refusing um, to learn or to grow or to mature. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys the best in these holidays. Stay safe, you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.